Now a new video just released of NFL star Odell Beckham Jr. the day he was removed from a flight out of Miami. Police body camera video shows the moments when officers addressed Beckham after flight attendants say the star receiver refused to follow instruction. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live at Miami International Airport with the exclusive. Glenna. Flight 1228 to L.A. is what the flight was when all this incident happened. This was Thanksgiving weekend. And in the following days, Team OBJ tried to set the narrative for the news reports that came. But this police body worn camera that we've obtained, this is a real time look under the curtain of that spin. Miami-Dade officers called to the departing flight, knew which passenger the crew was calling belligerent, not buckling up. NFL wide receiver Odell Beckham was on the phone. Can I speak to you for a second? 9.30 that Sunday morning after Thanksgiving, Beckham said he was sleeping hard, tired from traveling, told the crew he'd been clubbing. Do you know how many times you've shaken him to put his seatbelt on and he can wear spot? If you don't want him to fly, that's a decision that you guys are going to have to make. Unfortunately, it's not our decision. To officers, Beckham downplays the actions that prompted the captain to return to the gate and order him off the plane. He stays seated, learning his actions will force everyone else to deplane. We're going to have to deplane everybody on this plane, and then you're still going to get off. That's fun. Beckham watched and was on his phone while everyone around him had to pack up and get off. When one of them said something, he unloaded. In a police powwow down the aisle. It's on them. I mean, it's on them. Officers forecast the finger pointing and media circus to come. Once I got everybody off, if he then refuses, I'm subject to trespass on the warning. If not, if I can get him off peacefully. They finally escorted him off solo, first reporting he seemed sick. His attorneys first blamed the crew. He himself later tweeted, comedy hour, though the body-worn cameras never did show anyone laughing. American Airlines had decided to deny him reboarding, deny him rebooking. We're not quite sure how he got to L.A., but all the other passengers did reboard, and they left about two hours late. I'm Glenna Milberg, live at the airport in Miami tonight, Local 10 News.